Welcome to my channel, Steve-O the Window Cleaner. Um, this video, what I wanna talk about a little bit is just not overthinking your work. Um, I talked to so many different customers um, with WCR being a sales rep with them about window cleaning jobs, right? We're not only sales reps as far as selling you equipment. I still clean. Um, I'm still out there in the field, not as much as I once was, but I have a lot of experience in this. So a lot of what we talk about with customers is this type of stuff, bidding, blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about bidding later. I don't wanna get bidding in this video. All I wanna talk about is a very narrow subject and that is just not overthinking your work. If you're doing storefronts, right, create a basic system of you know mopping the window, squeegeeing the window, detailing the window, done. Don't overthink it. When you're doing residential, create a simple system where of course you're gonna have to add in a couple steps because those windows are more dirty, but do that quick. Get that down, get that into an organized way of doing it, and it will help you get through jobs so much quicker and so much more efficient. I know in my career, whenever I overthought about a job, all right, I got a job and it's a week away or two weeks away, and it's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do there? Uh, and I would just stress myself out so, so bad. Once I started just going after the job and just getting it done, boom, things just started going, working. Efficiency went up, hourly went up, and it was because I was simply not overthinking the job. I'm not talking about overthinking life, I'm not trying to be a guruish or any of this stuff, but I honestly think that where a lot of a window cleaner's, um, you know, despise for the job comes from just overthinking it and think that they need to restore the window rather than just clean the window. And I really know that that's what a lot of people go through because they'll say, what's this on the window? What's that on the window? Well, does the window look clean for what you offered? Then yes, you know? And in saying that, it's very important that in the same, oh, I got a high schooler up here that's revving their engine like a dumb boy. Um, it's very important to let customers know like what's included in the job that you're doing. So make sure you do that and make sure they know that you're not restoring the window, you're cleaning the window, and that will really, really help you just move along jobs quicker. Um, you know, don't overthink ladder placement. Don't overthink, you know, what you need to use in each situation. I think some of the things that happen too is that there's a masculinity to window cleaning that like, oh, I have to reach that window by this particular tool for it to be like this. There's so many times in homes where I pull high windows and then ladder up, close out the bottom. Like, not every situation is the same, but keep it, keep it, keep it simple. I made a video a long, long time ago about window cleaning isn't perfect, and that's what I'm kind of revisiting here, is that you have to stop overthinking everything and kind of just let your let your mind be free in the job. Enjoy window cleaning. Enjoy the job. Don't stress yourself out about it. That's really it. I just want to get that message across just because I've been talking to so many window cleaners who I just feel are just overthinking it um, way, way too much. And I would just encourage you to calm down. Don't worry about the little things so, so much. What we do is so much better than what our customers can do with Windex and paper towel. It's so much better than what our customers can do with storefronts, right? We're always gonna be able to offer a better, better service um, than what they are doing with the tools that we have. So that's simply it, very narrow subject. Um, I wanna talk more about some of this stuff and I haven't been doing much of these videos. I've just had a lot going on the last like six months. And so um, it's exciting kind of to be not done with that, but to kind of have the weight off my shoulders, it feels really, really good. Um, so super happy. Nothing, nothing wrong at all. Now, all good things, but Alex and I had a wedding and it's just, you know, that turns into a lot of extra stuff with just life and everything. So anyways, also creating a vlog. January was not a fun month, so I'm doing a January, February vlog. I talked about it on T Squeegee's channel about doing like a vlog through this whole entire year and I'm super excited about that. So we're gonna do that all year, uh, be fun there and then also get into just some, um, revisit some old videos like top squeegee rubbers, top tools, top stuff like that. I love talking about stuff like that. So I wanna revisit some of that before spring hits. Um, somebody asked me on Facebook to do a video about what beginner tools need to be out there. I'm gonna be doing that too. So anyways, y'all, I hope you are all having a good one and we'll talk soon. Peace, bye.